Hi there, I'm David Madison, an educator at the Orlando Museum of Art. As part of Museum from Home, I'm presenting in my car to highlight Tom McGrath's Rec 2. As is often the case with a seemingly non-objective work of art, we may begin to interpret this painting based on its formal qualities. Colors melt into rich pools of vivid greens and blues, broken by a few swatches of orange and yellow. McGrath's handling of paint is luscious. It is as if he has spontaneously poured these colors onto the surface, watching them gracefully fold and dance with one another until he achieves his desired effect. In reality, McGrath is much more controlled with his material than we may initially expect. Notice what appears to be a tire shape near the painting's left edge. Following this form, we may begin to make out the side of a vehicle. Notice the windshield and the hood of the car, which seem to reflect the landscape on their surface. The car shape becomes increasingly complex as we approach the car's front end, which appears to be crushed in. Those swatches of orange in the lower right corner suggest the broken shards of a headlight. This is a rare case where an abstract painting's title, again, Rec 2, actually helps us piece together the work's imagery. You may recognize McGrath as the artist behind the colorful, abstract ceiling in the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center's Pew Theater. Rec 2 is an extension of his work, studying the effect of vehicles upon our culture. Certainly, many of us are reliant on having a car as our primary means of transportation. But McGrath is less interested in our affection for cars and more so considerate of how the vehicle has become the prototypical means for our interpretation and experience of the landscape. Of course, the concept of place has long inspired painters as a worthy subject, and McGrath builds on this history by distorting the landscape through the perspective of the car. Images become warped as if looking through a rain-splattered windshield, a dusty side mirror, or, in this case, the reflective sheen of a car's front end. Do you have a young artist at home? Sample a variety of watercolor techniques using salt, rubbing alcohol, and straw blowing to develop rich textures reminiscent of McGrath's handling of oil. These can make fun backgrounds within an artist's journal. I hope you are enjoying these online videos. To show your financial support for the museum, just text OMA to 71777. Donations made before April 30th will be matched by 30% through the United Arts of Central Florida Collaborative Campaign. Reply to this story by sharing your thoughts about Tom McGrath's Rec 2, and be sure to follow the museum's social media accounts for more inspiration.